and welcome to my channel Kids See Public, the door to entertainment. Today I'm going to do, um, I'm going to tell you how to play the Scotland Yard. This game helps us to improve our logical thinking and our concentration. In this game, it is, it is written that we can play above 10 years, but I have started playing this game at the age of 7. So yes, you can play this game. So if you're planning to add a new game to your game library, then this game is for you. This map inside the game represents the street of London. This game was published in 1983 and in the same year it received the uh, Game of the Year award. Now let's see what's inside this box. These are some grids. The tokens are already removed out from these grids. Let me keep it aside. And the next thing in this kit is this board. I'll show you this later. This is a black grid. And this is used for hiding numbers. This is the manner from which we can understand that what is the game and how we can play this. This is a notepad provided by the game. Now let me keep this aside. Now these are the tokens. This taxi is only for shorter distance. Mind you, this is all over the board. Is the underground ticket we can use this for longer distance this is a bus ticket we can use this for longer distance than the uh, than the taxi ticket and we can use this for shorter distance than the underground ticket These are some numbers. These are some black tickets only and only for the thieves. This is a two in two ticket. We use this for playing double time. These look super colorful. These are the pounds of the game. These are the batches of the detectives. This is a blank ticket used for replacing any of them. This is the Scotland Yard board game. So there are many stations in this game. The red represents the metro station. The yellow represents the taxi station. The green represents, or uh, this green represents the bus station. So you have to follow the line to get to the next station. So the six players can play in this game. One should be thief and the other five should be detectives. So we have detective batches. So, um, so as I told that six six people can play so however three people can also play so two will be detectives and the other one will be the thief so how to play the game if there are three people only playing this game so as i told that there will be two detectives so you have to divide all the five patches into them so the three will be go to will go to the first detective and the second uh, and the second detective will receive only two so now, so uh, we'll have to place the pawns related to the color. So now I'm going to pick the cards for the thief and the detectives. So, so this is the card for the thief. I don't have to show to the detectives, but as, it, uh, as to make you understand, I'm showing it. So now I'm picking this. For the blue, for the red, 
and for the green and also for the purple and the yellow as each of the detective will have each of their placings so now i'm going to place according to that so i place the detectives uh, on the stations according to the, the stations i picked up now i have also placed the detective on the number but in the game we don't have to show the thieves position as the detectives could easily catch them each detective or the thief will get 10 taxi tickets eight buses tickets and four underground tickets and and um and wherever from one place to another the detective will move he or she will have to give the transportation tickets to the uh, to the thief so the detective is on the metro station and the detective wants to travel to another metro station over here then he will have to give the underground ticket to the thief and the thief can use it later for his travel so I have kept this crate on the load pad. So we have to attach it together and this is only used by the thief. The thief has to record one by one on the circles at the exact load wherever he is traveling to. He have to note uh, he have to note the station on the on the circles at the exact load. So um, whenever he is on circle, he has to hide it. And whenever he is he lands on this square and the rectangular. He has to show it to the detective and then hide it. Now I'll show you that how thief travels. So we see that the thief is on the taxi station and on the bus station. So suppose he wants to move to the next bus stop, then he can use the bus. Now he can go to the 77 but he can't jump to 78 or if he wants to go to 95 then he can use the taxi station whenever the thief rides on this rectangular box uh, the thief will have to show his station so the detectives can move accordingly to the station this black ticket is only used by the thief this black ticket is used to hide the transportation mode used by the thief. This is all about this game. Uh, if you want to buy this game, then the link is given in the description box below. You can click there and you can buy from that. And if you like my channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will bring some more interesting videos the next week. Till then, bye.